bots respond to my TikTok comments. Yeah, that's what this is. Um, we're going to respond to them. Some will be smart. Some will, most will be dumb. What's up, Nova? How's it going, man? Um, can we just talk about, we're, I'm almost at a thousand followers out here. That's crazy. Oh, I don't know how this is going to end up. It's either going to be me going on rants about stuff. I'll be like, yeah, I'm good, Nova. What's up? Did we talk about like how I've been doing TikTok for a while, kind of? What was this one? This one was originally from September. Let's say in October. Was... I remember this. This is my first TikTok to blow up. Blow up? Like 3k views? Pretty good. I was like, what? Oh! So, NVIDIA released this thing called NVIDIA Reflex, as you can see right here. It's basically something where it lowers your latency. But I want to talk about why maybe you shouldn't use it. It's so, true. NVIDIA Reflex is awesome. Yeah, yeah, let's just skip to the comments. Um, is there anything interesting? Yeah, there's nothing interesting this in this. The best part of the whole game, right? Here. Yeah, there's nothing good there. So I know that oh, this is my first video to like do really good. I remember. So I and I was like, I still don't understand what you mean. Extra video was. So let's talk about this. Yeah, that's good. First of all. I said EVGA is our hero. Can we talk about how false that is now? Because of the load balancing and stuff on these cards? I mean, it's only a 3090, so. But anyways, let's talk about, um, so, for anybody wondering what it means by you can pull an extra watt, extra. So, these are all your power slots. And, um, first of all, I figured out why it says my card pulls so much power. It's because of this. That's not actually there. So, really, I'm playing, like, 45 watts 60 watts but anyways that's all I'm gonna say so you can tell by your buy but oh yeah, yeah so you'll see by power consumption so board power draw by that so before it was 400 watts on the FTW3s with this it's 450 so you can allow more power and more clock speed to go in and get which is cool at least for me if you're an overclocker, that's a big deal. If you're on stock, it probably isn't a big deal. Um, Asus is better. What? Eh. They both had their issues this generation. Tough better. The Tough is a completely different card compared to the FGW3 on Asus. Which is completely true. Um, RG Strix is best. They're close, yeah. I'd probably go with the Strix. I mean... I don't know. Those cheap capacitors now EVGA figured it out first. Oh, I forgot about the capacitor thing. Oh, uh, looks don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I'll cut the wire. If, honestly, if I knew where the wire was for the RGB, I'd cut it on that one. Let's talk about some more of them. Um, the Cold War. Oh, yeah. Maybe a Cold War F FPS boost. Oh, Zen three. Zen I forgot. Sometimes I just like post my own YouTube videos. It's always fun. I like that. Oh, remember this? Let's not get copyrighted. Um, you have one of the world's best cooling fans of the RAM of ARMs. I must say I tried how to fix you. Go into BIOS. So this is all my friends Z three seventy dash E. And we were messing around in BIOS. Like, I was just at his house and we were messing around in BIOS. <laughs> his BIOS safe boots. And when it safe boots, it boots. At fi and we're like, what? So we really had to fix that. We were so confused. Um, so, yeah, someone tried that. <gasps> oh, this is still my most video video. How's the temps out? Oh, I actually got. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, he, got his, he deleted his count. Anyways. Man, I've done so many, so much stuff. Alright. Um, I have the exact cards. It's a beast. 
That's an obese card for still a 10 ATI. If you have a 10 ATI, I'm gonna give you a little tip. Let's go 10 ATI. Let's go 10 ATI XOC BIOS. Just do this. Um, where is it? It's this one. This one right here. Literally download this BIOS. I have my friends running at like 21, 25 megahertz at 1.2 volts. Thing's a beast. On air cooling also. And we didn't have the issue with the black screen thing. So I don't know. That was cool. I'm going to get. Oh, let's do that. Um, a thousand series cars are underrated. I'm going to get my, I was, I'm going to get 3070, but it's us. Oh yeah. I've had some, I've had three. I've had two 10 series, but I've messed around with a bunch of 10 series. Uh, it's actually nothing interesting at that point, but that really helped it. Do I play Valorant at all? No. Valorant doesn't interest me. Not, well. It interests me, just not a lot. Big Navi. No one cares about that. Um, see enemies better. I don't think there's actually any comments on that one. <gasps> oh, this was, okay. This is the one time Reddit helped me. This is so funny. Um, so someone was like, some people are actually going to fall for this. Actually, the 3090 and 6900 XT tied. It was this guy. Joke went like there. Like, bro. I've been falling for these all day. I can't take it. That's so funny. Um, I would still go NVIDIA. People talk about this as a joke. Oh, I remember this. The only card... The AMD didn't completely beat is the 3070. It's the same performance, but $80 more. Use 20 ATI was still, if you especially if you can get one back then, it'd be going like 600. Um, oh my gosh, there's like, yeah. So yeah, if you can't notice, it's like 3090, 3080. So it's all the numbers. It's so dumb. I love it. Oh, but actually the new AMD GPUs are really good, especially at 1440p and presumably 1080p. Um, oh, I said, yeah, it's like, really? You look at the graphs, you'll see what it really is. I just bought a uh, 3080. <laughs> Round two, right? But like ever since they announced Zen 3, now they've become worse. And this dude understands, bro. If you're an AMD fanboy, stop. Oh my gosh. Like, you understand that I have bad. That one's not good. Oh, this one's gotta have hate. That's so wrong. <laughs> Bro, I remember some of the comments I posted in the heat of the moment. Wait. Um, one second. I need to call him. Gosh. So funny. Oh my gosh. We're exposing him right now. 5,000 plus follower. Um, TikToker exposed live on stream. I'm kidding. Uh, it's so funny. Because he's like, lol, the 5950X is better for gaming. And now all his content is like, 10900K is the way to go. And he's like, um, RAM stops scaling after 3600. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. It's funny because it's like, what? 
What about singer versus Doring? Not trusting you. Oh, and this is my friend. So that not, not, not remix was better. Oh, that's so funny. What was this? Oh. Eh, who cares about that part? Just download more gigahertz. You're right. What was I thinking, bro? Oh. On my board, it used to show up like 8 gigahertz or something. The MSI board would do it. It was so weird. Ringo C is such a big deal. People really don't understand it. Um, what's this guy? Oh. Oh. Where was I? Uh, let's keep going. I was on that one. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. oh yeah, it was this one. Liquid nitrogen. Use liquid nitrogen to read that kind. I was like, yeah, I don't want to join the gulag anymore. Ugh. Um. What are you doing? You need 8 gigahertz? Oh my gosh, you don't understand. It's a joke, man. <laughs> He's looking. Some complete lunatics use nitrogen. If you look at it, you'll probably see some. Yes, Der Bauer has done it with CPs, guys. Didn't Der Bauer get 8 gigahertz? Or am I wrong there? I might be wrong. Yeah, he ate. Yeah, I think it was really on the CPU, so. Cool. How are the temps now? Oh, I actually forgot I did that. <gasps> oh. Yeah, that video didn't do good. Oh, I remember this. I was dying making this video. It's not that good. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I remember this. This new AMD chips outperform Intel. How preformed. When you overclock the ring and heavily tuned. Using same GPU also. I'm guessing timings on the RAMC are the same as well. No. Okay. Oh. So, here's the thing. If you're building Intel and AMD... You're going completely different RAM. Like you're gonna want to have high speed RAM, especially well if you're going for the max FPS. If not, just get it set as 3600. But on AMD, you're gonna want to get 3600 and just max out that FCOK. Okay. So, well, you've yeah. All right, Nola, watch. Oh, watch Bitwit. Should I watch it? I was wondering why they said so many cons. Wait, how many comments does this have? Oh, oh, did I say 27 or like 127? Uh, this is people arguing, saying I'm dumb. Your video is showing my comment says test CSGO. You were the one who did that. Actually, I didn't know that was you. Oh my gosh. Remember I was like, okay. <laughs> Just buy the best CPU for your needs. Exactly. Not anymore. I'm concerned about this new EK cooler. Partially even with it. I7 is 200. That's crazy, actually. Depends. 1080p latency drops are more important. What do you mean latency drops? Showing systems you're using in the specs. Yeah, I'm not actually testing, but anyways. Oh, this is my 1050 Ti. Who cares about a 1050 Ti, honestly? Oh. Through a 5600X beats a 10900K, but it all just depends on the game you're playing, the settings you're playing. For example, in a game such as Division 2, which is AMD optimized, made for AMD. Guys, just remember a six core always will beat it. The OK is my favorite part, and I think that's what kind of helped it. You're like, what? All right, I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Never ask how many FPS. Someone was like, Ryzen 3 3100, eight gigabytes, 240 gigabyte SSD, RX 550. First of all, I didn't respond to this. I didn't even realize it was there. But it was like, how many FPS? How many FPS did you get in that game? That's how many you should get. I don't know. I don't know, I don't even know what games this guy's playing. It's just whatever you get.
this is my streaming pc i love dual pcs oh my gosh awesome we're gonna put legs oh that's i remember that um come join yeah i'm streaming oh this is for the cinebench r23 just came out this is what deep blue just got deep blue scored 47,203. so let's go all right yeah um oh this is so funny a challenge tell me that you're a gamer without actually telling me you're too fast so funny i think you could actually kind of hear it in the video but it's like i forgot what we were talking about i was like joe fast is this good enough <laughs> it depends on your pc why don't people understand about that what's the goal what's the goal what are you trying to do on your system that's the real question If you're streaming or you need a video edit, go AMD. Like saying what FPS doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah. Guys, how much FPS should I get on my system? Just what FPS? I'm not going to tell you what game, just what FPS. I don't know. Load up the game and answer that question. So. Have you still not activated your windows yet? Oh, this is a big deal. Activate your windows. You will get lower and like because you can run exclusive full screen. Today, I got a brand new way for you to boost your FPS using something called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. So you're either going to look up Intelligent Standby List Cleaner or you're going to go to my YouTube channel and check out my video where I explain a little more in depth. I did so make a video about this. Clear your RAM so that you can keep the game in the RAM, not having to go to a page file. Keep your in your fast RAM, and also at the same time, it's going to keep your time resolution at 0 0.5 milliseconds instead of one millisecond. You're going to want to. You actually don't want that anymore. You want it to look like that. You want it to be like 0 0.4 and then whatever numbers. Um, someone said basically Razer Cortex. No, no, that's not Razer Cortex. Um, use this because yeah, it has time resolution as well. I've never tried that actually, but I don't think it's very good because I know no one recommends it anymore. I don't care. Oh, we'll expose him later. Um, so we've done that. What else? Some funny ones. No, exactly. I'm okay. I'm starting a series and it's called programs. You should. So instead of programs you need on your PC, it's programs you should never install on your PC. I've tested really done it. Done so it's not work. Please don't video on what time to you get. Uh, oh. Yeah, right. I used to use it on my Windows 8.1 laptop, but I have. Actually, I'll show you guys. This is my first, like, real thing I had. This is blue. It's on 8.1. You couldn't shut down your PC? Ew. Yeah, this is a good thing I used to have. It would run, like, 2 FPS in my... Yeah, around, like, 30. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. yeah. We've come a long way since then. Anyways, uh, I know. I didn't know anything. Fortnite. Oh, that was weird. Oh, this is my game. So <gasps> I built a brand this new the Apex. PC. And how about I show it to you now? Before I actually show you, I want to show you my streaming PC. Um, yeah. <gasps> I mean, like. You see it, it's in a case and everything's Stay normal. Backs. But then you go over to this one. Guys, my PC don't look like that anymore. Well, the 1070s in the streaming rig now recording. Um, and I don't have that motherboard. Motherboard's dead. Uh, you're looking at 39th, yeah. It's worse because you have it on a carpet floor. Eh. <laughs> I 
Oh, I forgot about this. The invisibility cloak 3000 case is cold. Just like my, is uh just like my uh, 3090. <laughs> Actually, who's that? Never heard of that man. It's lay on a box. It doesn't matter if it's on the floor. It was only there for like two days. And I didn't even touch it for one of them because I was at my friend's house. <gasps> the new 11900K. I mean, it's going to be terrible. It only has eight cores. And what happened to the 10 cores? I mean, I don't even know how it's going to do in gaming. Well, AMD has 16 cores, which is definitely how many you need in gaming. What are we going to do now? Just still by AMD. I mean, Intel is dead. Yep. I do agree. The 11900K may not be perfect. I mean, the 10900K will probably still beat it. But no matter what happens, it's still going to beat your AMD CPU. So dumb. <gasps> we jumped about 500 points in performance, which may not seem like a lot, but that is awesome. So you think that 6100 is cool? I'm hitting 6600 on a 10850K, so not even a CPU that's as good, and I have a higher clock speed than you. I have a 10850K, 5.1 gig. Just remember, I will always win. I don't know why I do, honestly. I feel like I put more emphasis when I talk now. Before I was like, hey, hey guys. And now I just like talk like this. It's way more fun. I feel like it's more interesting for you guys to do that also. Those are watching. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yuli is not at 5.5 gigahertz. Wait, am I allowed to talk about Yuli? Can someone tell me that real quick before I continue talking about him? I don't know if I, ah, I think I am. He just can't be yet. Right, anyways, he's like, I'm at 5.5. I'm like, all core, if it's not, then it's relevant. Single core, 5.5, all core, 5.3. There's no way he's at 5.3, first of all. He has a 280 mil red. It's perfectly fine. I mean, that's garbage for 5.3. Unless he has like a really low voltage chip, there's no way he's doing that. Oh, this is so funny. Not for me. So, um, 5.5 cryptocurrency mining yeah i have a 26 oh, i was explaining why you should a lot of people do a rank in a modern cpu you always go dual rank for gaming and stuff you're gonna have a way better experience really is not the kid who yes he bought like a thousand dollar 10900k and doesn't know how to overclock. Think about that. Oh, I love this comment. Running dual rank dims is a uniquely third gen Ryzen thing. Or ability to overclock them is more specific to the mobile board. Yes. Yes, guys. Dual rank is just on third gen Ryzen. What? I believe you're confusing dual channel. Christian, fourth gen Ryzen. This has been the truth since Sandy Bridge. I don't even know that's right. When did dual rank ram? Exactly. What is this? Yeah, this is a long time ago, I can tell. Yeah, I don't know how long Dual Rank's been around, but it's been around for a while. It's always faster. So, no, it's not. Triple A Games came to 16 gigabytes. It's not about how much RAM you have. Um, I just, well, one second, I never run into pain. Dual Rank, what? Now you can run 2.6, two yes, but then it'd be single rank. Yeah, it's some. 
There's not a big latency increase. What I got like literally like the same people who get like 35 nanoseconds on my board, like 4500, like 4500 on two by eight, or like 36. What's one nanosecond gonna do for gaming? If Joe's here, Jeff knows how much one nanosecond does. Nothing. Four six is still ranked. Not what? Lower latency is high performance gaming. Just get, just get, yeah, just get a two by sixteen. Honestly, oh, these are my mining. So, yeah, that got fouls. It's not. I hate the mining series. Ten nine hundred K is best I'm for gaming. Explain why a ten nine hundred K. I put the game you hit me in. X in gaming. Now I know if you're like stream. Core sixteen oh, four hundred forty nine dollars. Ryzen nine fifty. All right, so that makes a lot of sense. Don't buy a fifty eight hundred X if you're getting way more performance for a hundred dollars. But what if there's another CPU that's cheaper than both, and you get better performance out of? It? Annihilation, we've gotten to your moment. We got into your moment, man. We got into the moment where you show up. All right, first of all, it looks like how we see I'm on. It's not bad in the 5900X. You clearly don't know anything about it. Have you tried Warzone? Yes. I got 250X. Let's just go on 280. What is your RAM and CPU overclock? But you don't understand. Nah, it's fine. I kind of like it. I highly doubt that, but eh, it depends on clock speed. AMD costs a lot right now, but you fall to consider motherboard price. If you go for a B550 board, 410 plus 200 is a whole lot less than 550 plus 150. Or is my math wrong? Don't be mad, AMD cult guys. It's someone who is. <gasps> oh, this guy literally went through like comment on all my videos today. It was so funny. Welcome to. We're not gonna care. <gasps> Annihilation is your moment. Okay. I tested CS. Go. I actually have a photo on my phone hitting 900. Wait, let me find it. Let me find the photo of me hitting 900. Oh, I'm getting notifications on my phone for hitting comments. Oh no. When did I hit 900? Uh, here it is. Wait, can you guys see that? Yeah, look. 900. I hit right at 900. It's awesome, right? What you're saying, CPU? Yeah. <laughs> How am I supposed to understand this video without proof or context? <laughs> You said try a CSGO, so I did. The 10 AP all low. Okay, so then fit. Yeah. So welcome. Okay. This is halfway true. So in part five, we actually ran the nano miter. I'm still running it now, making myself. I thought this all. Four by four I is so bad. Me. Wait. Four by four is not dual rank, and no one uses four by four. I have a disc for the. <laughs> two by eight is better than four by eight and two by sixteen. <laughs> now we just, uh, yeah, that good. I don't even know who joined. Oh, he did actually. DLS says I have a ten hundred K and thirty eighty I. Yeah, no one gets that much. My 3070 is always at 100% and 1050 k is at 40. Something wrong with your PC. Something's not wrong with my PC. If I'm getting more FPS than you. Oh. Oh. <gasps> 
We'll talk about that later. So I'm just gonna show you what FPS I'm getting right now. I'm currently in downtown. Um and I'm getting So I got other people on my <laughs> this is my YouTube intro. So IMC yeah. equals enigmatic. Oh, we were joking around in the Discord. We we're like, "What does IMC stand for?" It's like integrated Minecraft controller. It's like, yeah, it's just a controller for Minecraft that comes right with your system. Let's go. Am I doing it right? Oh, that's fun. You got a very epic title off of it, AMD boy. At least now you know. I just get the most FPS. Unlike some people who still won't accept it and say that Kingpin with an LN2 full pot 3090 gets more FPS than you. Like, I don't know that. Your monitor doesn't affect your FPS. People know that, right? Like, you guys understand your monitor doesn't affect anything. Yep, there's your issue. That RAM do be slow. That's your FPS. I just had to say that. Oh my gosh. As you guys may know. All right. So I'll show you oh. my art. Just People got so guys. mad for this. 14 anime or 2014. Just 5950X. Nope. Yep. 1000K is way better. Uh huh. Last and rising top five CPUs are AMD, bud. Why is that on? Why is that run on redacted? If they don't like that I charge for my overclocks, they think I should just give it out for free, which makes absolutely no sense. Okay, here's my thought on me charging for FPS, me to work on people's PCs. Imagine you go and you need your car fixed because your car's all messed up steering feels bad and stuff and they're like it's well, however much it costs it's like i'm not paying you it should be free it's like no it's like well i can do it myself it's like well then just do it do it yourself um <sighs> oh my gosh this just remember wait 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 hey if Robert ever, Robert PCs ever watched this, just remember, what's my memory clock? What's my memory clock? What's my memory clock? That's all I'm gonna say. So what's my memory clock? It's so funny about Linus just Intel. Linus just uses Intel for stuff. What a casual, what? He's just mad that he built an Intel PC, what? I literally could have gotten a 5950X. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want it. What? How oh, are you hurting my feelings? I don't care. 10 to 700K or 900K. Legit, the $400 Ryzen CPU competes with the 11 700K and the 5950X. 5900X is so much far ahead. 11th Gen is garbage, actually. Somehow I get more FPS than you, though. Indeed, though, this makes me cringe. Working with hardware, software, and development years. <laughs> Whoa. My CPU is at 5.3 gigahertz. Yeah, that means you, um, Intel's garbage. What? All right. So Doesn't matter. Yeah, no one cares. Who cares about what no drawn? People care too much about, um, <gasps> oh yeah, this video got taken down. I forgot. Wait, where is that one at? You can get yourself <gasps> a brand new EVGA RTX 3090. Now here's where the catch comes in. If you already have it. Here's the thing. And I actually remember this. Um. Uh, okay. He was an instant bam. 
I'll take that as you wish. Um, what do you think? Yes, no. What? It's for EVGA. This video got so many views just because I clickbait and I love it. I love it. Already on my second card. Was it a replace with load balancing fix? Um. Was it already replaced? Okay, if you have the black FTW3s, that doesn't mean they're load balance fixed. I was like, oh, maybe that's what. Nope. You're going to have. So. I'd really keep the clown lips. <laughs> Just shunt it. Eh. Um, I literally told him to do this instantly. As soon as I found out, I was like, I called him. I was like, yo, RMA your card. I don't know which one he's RMAing though. He has two. They do advanced RMA. Just say you have one and then, nope, they don't do that. Does it work if I don't? Nope. Um, if I don't have a 3090, could I still do it? What? Okay, why is everyone's profile pictures is a baby? I don't understand that. Also, wait, that's all I found? Yeah, that's literally all. That's all. Once you do it and you don't even have a 3090, nothing, still no card. Going to try this? People need to do this. I have one. Email them flash. It's like, yeah, that's all you need to do. Oh, I see. It was so funny. So a lot of people... <laughs> Me and uh, my friend Imed, we actually both found the picture in the same Discord. And I didn't realize it until I posted it. But I saw it and I was like, wow, there it has likes. And I was like, wait, that's Imed. It was so funny. Um, comment what games I should test. Can you test Cold War multiplayer? Oh, I got to test that for you, Annihilation. The baby just randomly became a mean. I'm so confused. <laughs> but Verizon is faster. Everybody on this app. <laughs> yep, yep. Just remember if you're in my server, that's the answer. Are you sure about that? You sure about that? I was just the free 3090. Yeah, I got hit with the thing. Yep. So I've been playing a lot of Warzone lately, and I have a really important question. <laughs> what are the best settings for Warzone? I mean, <laughs> I'll ultra RTX max, then I'll get the same FPS as everyone was sent to. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Is everything low with particle quality on high? What's it help with? I don't care. Try NVIDIA shadow. Oh, yep. I'd color and turn everything down except. Yeah, biggest Intel fanboy owns his NPC and recommends AMD to people. <gasps> I'm a fanboy. I'm a fanboy. Like, oh my gosh. What? Wow, there's like so many people who just joined the Discord. I just realized. I don't know how to feel. Guys, I'm getting a following and I don't know how to handle it yet. I'm too cool. <laughs> I'm kidding. I sit and I talk to people about AMD and why. Oh, we got to move that chair. We got to make the meme back. We're just gonna hold this for a bit. Just because, just remember, this this slows down your FPS right here. This? Yeah. Like, what? Oh, it's so, so weird. Just remember. Yep. Particle quality literally decreased the FPS by a lot. Does it actually? That's so. Ugh. Um, the taxes. Okay. Micro Center is paying like two, over two hundred dollars on these, which is a lot for a CPU. Right on the way. Intel bottlenecks. How does Intel bottleneck if it's faster? Please know what bottleneck is. What?
Um, yeah. Just delete that. And so then the same with I my like AMD box. What are you doing? Gonna <laughs> I need to find my old 2600 Xbox and I'm gonna put it on top of it. And I'm just gonna like mess around. Total of 17 fans. Oh yeah, I'm an Arctic man. Where's the Arctic ceiling fan? Oh, I have so many fans. I have so many fans. I have so many fans. So many fans. I got so many fans. I got a fan up there. Should be an Arctic ceiling fan. What's the craziest what? part, bruh? It's a shouting over the fans. Do you need to? Yeah. What? Where's the fastest 20 ATI? Yeah, I did. And he's like, no one likes Warzone. Half of Twitch does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the whole reason I actually decided to do this video right here. Hi, computer engineering student here. This is a 100% cap. 130% power is around 73C on EVGA with three fans. So, I don't think he understands it just because you pull more power. Temperature is all based on how easily you can cool it. So... A hundred, so 300 watts on two different coolers can be different different speeds and different temperatures. It's easy. <laughs> Hi there. High schooler who knows more than you here. There's something called a GPU bias which can change the power limit. There is actually, okay. There is a direct correlation with temp and power. The higher your temperature goes, the higher your power goes. That's why, that's why you want your card to be so low. So in case you were interested in that. I'm saying, I never said you can't reach that power. I'm saying you can't reach that power at that temp. Once a 30 here, you're right. I'd also like to see the SATA cables. What? One eight pin can support 150 watts. Um, you can't put an exact number on it. Yeah, you cannot. That's impossible. Um, I'm actually gonna lower that to like 16. Yeah, typically the more power, the more heat. Yes. Like, at the same megahertz. That's just how it does. Um, you can't change physics yet. Did you know shortening the life of their rams? Yeah, I'm not going to, though. Make a guide. Oh, I should. I want to make a guide, but it'll probably be on YouTube. Would you guys want to see a GPU BIOS flash guide? I'll probably be able to record it, like, tomorrow. Show my 20 ATI easily. Oh, my gosh. Power draw for please do your research for claiming. I'm using an XOC BIOS. My source lady Nvidia's power draw. Rating with 30 watts extra for power fluctuations. And he didn't even read that. I'm using XOC BIOS on the card. I had to explain so many times. He's like, uh. Eh. It'll never actually yeah. Yeah, flash. So cool. Yeah, people don't understand. You can literally Make your you can literally buy the cheapest card and make it so much better. Some kid with cyber hour pre sales on <laughs> China. It's so funny. Yeah. What do you mean pass? What do you want to pass? I got third. Yeah, flash the kingpin five twenty. Please flash the kingpin five twenty. It's so late here. I'm gonna head off soon. I've got college in a few hours. All right. Later, my man. Annihilation. Have fun. Get ready for the boom. Yeah. No. I have a twenty ATI too. Lol. I wouldn't recommend flashing this BIOS to anyone with a 20 ATI unless you know what you're doing. If you're going to flash one, flash the KFA2 or the Gigabyte. Enjoy buying a new GPU. No. Annihilation, should I put a guide? Wait, you have a 3070. I literally messaged you. I was like, I'll flash your card for you. I don't care. I'll do it. Uh, So you're saying it's better than my 3080? Trails by around 5%, which is very true. Once I had liquid metal and glue some shunts on it, RAP. How much would it best just false monitoring? No. No. Because it shows up right in GPC. But there's a false six pin, which I think is what's causing the high power limit. There's, there's a reason why you're using a 2080 Ti. And, oh, and, th and I'm using a 3080. One of us knows a thing or two about NVIDIA GPUs. There's a reason I get more FPS than you.
one of us knows a thing or two about um, PCs. His brain. It could be this. Um, yes. You don't know. I, I overclock my GPU properly with proper cooling. Definitely not literally the one in the field for computers. Temperatures are completely fine. Maybe I got a 20 tag before they. No, I, got, I got a deal. I got a good deal. I was like, I saw this dude locally. I was like, he was, he was like, I like low balled him. He's like, no. And I was like, bro, sell it to you. And he's like, bro, because, um, we with the stream take here. Later, Annihilation. Later, man. I got a 2070 Super. A 2060 has yes, an RX 570. Yo. Power. Just power play tables, that thing. Oh my gosh. So OP. You're overclock, you're clocking 2055 like 1.2 volts and destroying your core. It's perfectly fun. Was it 12 nanometer? It's fine. Yeah, there's a reason this is possible. Nope. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, 15 years here. Will this blow my GPU up? And eh, if you take the cooler off, yeah. Should I water block my 3060 Ti? Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. No, that's a waste of money. Lol, I don't really care. It's like 150 for the water block. You'll spend out $300 to cool it. He's like, the loop would be for the CPU and I could add the GPU block for the price of the block plus the fittings. I want a water cool. I was like, I'm not paying $1,400 for it. Don't do it. You're wasting your time and your money. <laughs> and then this dude was like, um, after this guy gave you good advice, you still sound like a stubborn young man. So do what you want. It's your money. He doesn't know what his goal is. So that's the base thing. How much do you know about VRMs? I know enough, but I don't know, like, I don't know enough to, like, I don't know so much. I'm just like, does Buildzoid say it's okay? Or does it look like it's pretty good? Like, I can guess, but I'm going to do it. What does your card do, then? I've never ran heaven on my 3090. Power consumption doesn't matter. I'm talking about FPS in games. 3090 and 28 Ti is comparable also. How could I fake temps? <laughs> and someone did that. that was so funny bro 600 watch my psu um yep that's cool n60 so the i would say burn it but it'll do that itself i literally grabbed the uh fire extinguisher just to mess with people that was so much fun who are you again the guy who gets the most fps on tiktok yeah no bro better than the n7 yeah i don't care about nzxt oh the old motherboards even worse. They have made airflow a problem in the motherboard. How's that even? What? I don't know anything. NZ probably, probably not great, but the Tai Chi's been do not overheat. Do you even know how? The Tai Chi overheats. The chipset gets hot. I know. I think the whole X570 chipset gets hot. Um, this guy's so annoying. Thanks, man. This board is a massive dub on like their horrible Intel. Their Intel board is unusual. I don't care. It's just an NZXT product. And I'd rather, if you can get one for cheaper that does the same, do that. But obviously, if you want an all NZXT build, go ahead. Um, I kind of like the NZXT mo mobos, I guess. I don't know. How do you work this? Sure you People don't really know how to do this. Okay. Just because you know how to do something doesn't mean anybody else does. That's a big thing you should know. Just have fun. <laughs> Yeah, and just like post what you think. And I was like, everyone's giving the wrong FPS. I mean, the wrong tips. So I was like, why don't I do the good ones? Yep. Yeah, I have a 3070. I don't need to do this because I'm getting 100. If that's your goal, then you're good. Yeah. Yeah. He, after 120 FPS, it's just diminishing returns. The human eye can't see past that. My monitor can't go one. Yep. What? Guys, just remember, you can't see past 120 hertz. I might as well just... Why don't I switch back to my 144? What? Oh my god. How so? Imagine you see DCH driver. I feel this. Yep. I hate the DCH driver. <laughs> it's not the best. Yes, it is. Especially for Warzone. But I want the best picture. Okay. Okay. Search on Google downward. Bro, I need to try this. Dude, who's that? I don't care. Let's show up. 
Results stay the same. Depends on your PC, it does. If you have like a... Depends on your PC. If you have a lower PC, it might help more. This is where I'm getting my 3060 Ti. You don't need it on a 30. Oh, I can't reply. Oh, I can actually. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Show me this. People are like, so, should I use the low latency? What GPU? Yes. I was like, how do you check what graphics card? I play on low and only get overclock. What's the secrets for my... Yep. Should I use the latency on 2060 Super? Yes. Enabled. What's your memory? I have... It is this kit. It's B die. It's awesome. I'll show you my timings. Well, anyways, let's get back to it. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't like AMD either. There's nothing wrong with AMD. People don't understand that. I love AMD. What else? Don't make a guy because he doesn't have a 26 Ti with. Okay, and that's it. Uh, let, let's play some games now. Let's have some fun.